welcome back again to another episode of nursing so in today's episode i'll be sharing my my experience working in a clinical setting and in intellectual disability setting because i had a previous experience working in a clinical setting now i'm working in intellectual disability i just wanted to you know some of you might be thinking okay you know you work in the hospital and you don't work in intellectual disability what are the difference okay so in today's video i'm gonna be sharing with you my roles in the clinical setting and my roles in intellectual disability setting. but before i dive in if you haven't seen my pre previous video which i talked about how did nursing versus intellectual disability nursing so go click the suggested video in the card or click the description the link is left in the description just click it and go check it out as well however this one is focused mainly on my clinical roles okay and my intellectual disability roles is there any much difference the roles i carried out in the hospital is it different from the one i carry out in the you know intellectual disability setting is it the same is there any major thing is it hard work or heavy or easier continue watching so so welcome back guys so left first i'm going to talk about clinical setting so i worked in i have an experience in a clinical setting working in a stroke where i said and now i'm working in intellectual disability one thing i'll first say is that in clinical setting and intellectual disability is that we all carried out assessment we all carried out patient assessment you know ensure you know carry out all the necessary assessment that we have to do on patient we all do care plan but Another thing I found that are similar in clinical setting and intellectual disability settings is that we do vital signs. I do vital signs in clinical setting. I still do vital signs in intellectual disability setting. So we check people vital signs, so which is very essential. Yeah, and in clinical setting, I work with adults. Yes, as an adult nurse and in intellectual disability as well. I work with adults as well, but most most of them are of old age. Okay, so in the clinical setting, my experience in the clinical setting is from the hospital setting as well. So which I work in a, in a general hospital where you know in the hospital there's a lot of things going on. There's hands on. You get so busy. You work with a lot of multidisciplinary thing, doctor, OT, occupation, dietitian. So many of them they keep coming in and out. In the or you know in the hospital setting you know you you meet different patient depends on or you know how quick and fast your work in terms of maybe discharging patient you meet a lot of different patients you met their family so nearly every day in the department i worked which is true or nearly every day i met new patient new people every day and the same people i still have to carry out the same roles do their same vital signs carry out all the necessary else need the required in the hospital i still have to do i still have to you know discuss with the doctor or you know we still do so many things and so mm -hmm. in intellectual disability nursing we have doctors on site as well but where i work is not actually you know in terms of in clinical so where you in the ward you'll be having doctors so many of them coming into that ward um, but in intellectual disability said we have a doctor but they have a, their own specialized office if you need them, you refer your patient to them. Then they will book an appointment with you. That okay, we I'm gonna be coming on Saturday to see the patient. I'm gonna be coming to see them to assess them or whatever they need. Or if the doctor doesn't need to come around, the doctor will maybe I just require a prescription. They just write the prescription. I just go to the office and they say that's the I just pick it up and go get it in the pharmacy. But you know, comparing to the hospital setting as well when you work in a clinical setting if you require a prescription for a doctor right there and there the doctor is going to write the prescription blah 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 they're going to document it in their you know in their drug card you know they're going to write it down there and straight away you go to the your medical couple you administer it if you have it and if you don't have it as well you just go to the to the pharmacy sometimes we have a portal in the hospital the portal will go and collect those things and just drop it to the ward so i don't need to go anywhere so 
But in a, in a selection disability, I said, I have to go and collect the prescription. I have to go to the pharmacy, which is community-based pharmacy, not in-based pharmacy, so which I had to get the medication. And that is the way to go. And in the intellectual disability, I said, the, the people I look after, they her, it is their home. That is where they're embraced. You understand? Compared to a clinical setting, which is in the hospital setting, in the hospital setting, that is not your home. They only come to the hospital to get treated. So immediately they recovered and they regained their health. They all go back to their homes. And if they still need maybe further care or treatment or the care of a nurse, that's where the district nurse in the community takes over. But here in intellectual disability, I only deal with it. I, with an adult, or the elderly ones and that is their home they are the same set of people i look after day every day i go in there's nothing like okay they're gonna be discharged tomorrow and a new set of people is coming in no they're still the same people so the experience maybe their knowledge i have about them is gonna be the same so which means if i started if i started in the area for instance now i maybe i started in the area like a few years ago and is the same maybe is the same people I'm working for or except if I move from that area to another area. So the knowledge I have about that is gonna be the same knowledge. The only thing is that the new thing that keeps coming for them, that's what I will keep adding to the knowledge I am having about it. But compared to a, a clinical setting which is a hospital that different people come. This one comes today, you carry out your necessary you know, nurse patient care and then they get discharged and that's it. Another new people come, you carry out another routine entirely. So you can see that you know the clinic setting it is non-stop. You diff you keep meeting different faces, different people, different family, and you have to learn how to deal with family, how to cope with family, how to work with patient and family. Because sometimes, you know, some of the family, you know, depends on them. They might come in and the way they will approach you, the way they will talk sometimes, you might feel them, you know. But in a clinical, in an but in an intellectual disability, you already know the family. Maybe since you've started in the area, they already know you, they already met you. So every time they come, it's still you and it's still them, not the different people. So compared to in a clinical setting where you keep meeting different family every day, you can make a different one today. Tomorrow another person will come, their family will come. So that is the way clinical setting is in show. However, the advantage of working in a clinical setting compared to working in intellect, that doesn't mean I'll say, okay, no, 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 don't work in, no, no, no. I'm just sharing my experience, okay? Is there, if you require an emergency, you get it straight away in a clinical setting. Because of why? If you work in an hospital setting, there are a team in standby in every area. So maybe you require an emergency, a resuscitation emergency, something like that. There, immediately you press the alarm. They know it. They will be there. Before you know it, lots of people are stunned up to that scene to resuscitate that person. So there is a lot of hands on doctor is there, surgeon is there, so many of them is there, consultant is there. Everyone is in there. But when you're working in intellectual disability, no, you don't get those things. You get hands or support from people, but you still have to call them over the phone that please, I need help my this and that. But you still have to be the first line of contact with that same person. You still have to start your resuscitation before anyone will even turn up. And if you require an emergency help, like to go into the hospital, you know, you have to call the ambulance. You know, you have to do the spa over the phone. And what do I mean by spa over the phone is about you telling them, you like a breakdown about the person, the patient, what the patient required, the background of the patient, what have you done, the vitals and what causes it, what happens to the patient, how did it get started? You have to break all that down for them over the phone. Then they will have to tell you, okay, the ambulance will be on the way, or oh, okay, or oh, yeah, the ambulance will be there with you soon. So you have to wait for the ambulance to come to get your patient in an intellectual disability to the hospital setting. That's the way it works. But in an hospital setting, I don't need to call any ambulance. I don't need to call anything. 
I don't need to right there where you heard it's just like it's just a one buzzer you know that your manager is there why you you're busy with your patient doing other thing with the team there someone else is already doing that job like okay this person need this okay the doctor is already there let's do the later that okay the person required to go to emergency room the person requires to go to the theater the person requires a surgery emergency surgery they organize it there and there so which means in a clinical setting you we are you know it's a first line we are first line priority because we are inpatient we have inpatient and we work in there so we are first line priority compared to people that are coming into the community they are priority as well but the only thing is that before the ambulance will leave the hospital to go and pick the patient and before they come there before they put them in a ward before they organize okay they need to do this test they need to do blood test they need to do that they need to find out what causes this there is still a protocol or routine to follow but if someone is on the ward these things roll a hand straight away it roll and straight away so those are one of the things because i can remember when i walk in a stroke ward as well if we receive any patient you have a stroke straight away as the patient is coming before they even get there and there we already make sure things are ready for them you know the doctors are on standby immediately they come in we do the assessment we check their vitals a lot of patients the doctors are there to check them consultant are there to check the person we transfer the person straight you know for MRI to check or you know to check maybe if there's any clots or any bleeding any sort of things like that so it's just like roll over straight away so boy in an intellectual disability setting i can tell you one thing about intellectual disability it's a relaxing setting compared to clinical setting clinical setting is a busy area you know when you go to a the hospital you know how busy it can be most times you understand it's clinical setting is a busy area but where you have a lot of people coming in and out so busy but in an intellectual it's a relaxing but intellectual disability it's a relaxing atmosphere very relaxing you know everybody just take it calm and slow and um, you get things because you just get things done and mostly we take our patient to the hospital for an appointment but whereby in the hospital it doesn't happen that way however so far i am enjoying my experience in the clinic in the intellectual disability sets and i am enjoying it but if you ask me do you want to go back to a clinical setting I would love to go back if when I am ready, if I want to, I will love to go back. Because working in a clinical setting helps in your skills, helps maintain your skill. You get more skill, more knowledge compared to working in an intellectual disability. So I get more hands-on in clinical setting compared to intellectual disability. But now because I have a little girl, I don't want to be too stressed coming back home and I'm so stressed like, oh my God, I don't want that. So I just want it to like something calm and relaxing. So right now, I am happy with it where I am. So hope you find this combo very, very interesting as well and educates you. And don't forget to give me your girl thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified for any of my video content on a weekly basis, Monday and Saturday. And watch out for more of my episode on nursing. And see you in my next video. Bye.